All right, today I'm gonna to show you how we check in one of our gooseneck flatbed trailers with the tandem dualies. That means that there's eight tires in the back. So when you take it off the customer's truck, right, you're checking some stuff. This, These chains on gooseneck trailers don't really rub on the ground, so you don't have to check them like the bumper pulls, but the hooks go there, right? And uh, this customer, add this here, that is not how that goes. All right, so you want to keep that separate from the chain. You can put it on the same spot, but keep it separate from the chains. Make sure that the both clevis hooks are still here, right? Uh, these can drag. Some people have their connections in the back of their bed, or they put it still at the bumper, and these are long enough to drag. So just make sure that that's not dr drug, right? I wrap them up here. see it um, sometimes if they don't latch their truck to the trailer this will pop off and you can find some damages here but that usually does more damage to the truck than it does to the trailer uh, the jacks are something that do get jam damaged people will forget to, uh, to bring these up or not crank them up all the way and those are damaged so you want to make sure that those are straight those are working Open up the battery or the toolbox here. We don't really keep anything in this. It doesn't have a winch. So there's no battery to check, no no uh, winch cable to check. But if it did have that or there was chains on the ticket, you could check for the chains on the ticket. And again, if it had that winch, there would be a winch remote in here and there would be a battery in here. Brand new trailer, the paint's still sticking it. Another thing that gets damaged on these trailers are these steps. People will hit these steps, so you can check that, make sure that they're still straight, not bent. Make sure the spare tire is there and it's not some other brand, or some blown out one. A lot of times if it blows out and they use the spare, they'll just put the blown out one up here, so make sure that that's not the case. Uh, holes in the deck, you know, you can see that from the ground, but holes in the deck, people will put forklifts on here and those tires will go right through one of these boards, even if the board's new. So that's something to check for. Coming to the back of the trailer, we'll start to check out the tires. All right, and so with two sets of tires, you gotta be, well, it's obvious, you gotta check this tire and that tire over there, right? But one of the just the other day three days ago right somebody ran over a cactus and all the thorns were in the side walls in here and if you didn't get on your hands and knees and check it out then you wouldn't have noticed that and so you got to really get under these trailers and check them out also you can check out to see if they hit any of the torsion bars right if they drug the trailer high centered the trailer you can see all of that we'll look for that so when you're checking these tires, you gotta check that. You can also check, make sure that there's oil still in the uh, in the axle, right? All the lug nuts are there. But you're gonna go to both sides of the tire and you're gonna get in there and make sure nothing looks crazy, right? Put your head underneath here, check it out. Okay, we would do this on both sides. Also on the mega ramps or these trailers with the ramps, make sure all the pins are still here, right? The bar is still here. Sometimes you can lose those bars. Um, make sure that all the uh, the ramps are still have straight. Sometimes you can overload it and bend the uh, ramps going up. So in all reality, you would pick up at least a little bit to check it out. So make sure all those bars are straight. Come back here, make sure the license plate on it. It's a brand new trailer, so this one's still got a temporary tag. Check the lights in the back. 
then you would go and do the same thing on this side. You take this off, lift it up, make sure you didn't overload it. You would check all those tires on the outside and the inside. Check those axles. Take as many photos as you can too. Upload them to the form, put all the notes in the forms. That way the office can do any chargebacks or deposits necessary.